Assalamu alaikum everyone, I am making the bladder rosby right now. Let's get started with the bladder. It's all about the structure of the bladder. You know everything from the images and the diagrams, but I'm just gonna help you a little bit with the model, all right? So first what you can see is the bladder, and it's very obvious it's the male bladder. Why is it the male bladder? Because these are male genital organs. So you can see from this side, you can view that the bladder has an apex, a superior surface, inflow lateral surface, one over here and one over here, all right? And then you have posterior surface, also known as the base of the bladder. And the base of the bladder in males, it has these important structures known as the seminal vesicles. So these are the seminal vesicles. And what are these ducts that you can see? These are the vas deferens, all right? Remember that the seminal vesicles are separated from each other by these vas deferens, ductus deferens, all right? I hope that made sense. Then what we have is uh, this. This is the prostate gland. Where is the prostate gland kept? It is kept at the neck of the bladder, which is the lowest most part where the bladder ends, where there is a sphincter of the bladder, and that is where the prostate is covering it. All right, so whenever you are asked in an OSPI uh, if the pin is placed over here, you don't just say bladder. You don't even say it's a muscle. What do you say? You tell the surface of the bladder. If it is over here, it's superior surface. If it is over here, it's infralateral surface. If it is over here, it's apex. You can also call this the median umbilical ligament slash apex, write both. If you are getting confused with two answers, always slash and write both, all right? And these are the seminal vesicles, ductus deferens, uh, the prostate, and the neck of the bladder. And that is all you need to know about the bladder. Really hope I made it easy for you. Thank you so much for watching.